Webke before the kick of Tamale. Marked on the fall and run back by Lockyer. Runs it over there. One word, freak. He can just do anything, anytime. Quick hands for Lockyer. Inside for Webkey! Webkey! He's sort of like a baby-faced assassin. He's just so, so smooth. He just glides. You know? Lockyer, in and away he goes for number two. Every code has one. A player with talent that can't be taught. With the ability to play his game in slow motion. AFL has James Hurd. Rugby Union, Steve Larkin. Rugby League, Darren Lockyer. Lockyer running off Tannis. Here's the support coming. Walker's there. Walker's there. The player. A month ago, Lockyer tore the boys in blue to shreds in front of 40,000 screaming Queenslanders in Origin 1, league's biggest stage. Not bad for a country boy who learnt to play in the central west of Queensland. Um, out there in the west, playing on fields that had uh, prickles and bindies and playing barefoot and yeah, just yeah, just it was just you know good times. You know, everyone wanted to be Wally Lewis in the backyard footy and. Uh, you know, there's a few players that wanted to be different and someone wanted to, someone that was probably short wanted to be Elf or, you know, so it was, yeah. Who wanted to be Sam Becker? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's a few there that wanted to be Sammy. <laughs> Lockyer's first decade on earth was spent in Brisbane playing AFL, but then his family moved west, six hours west to Roma. There was no AFL out there, so he had to find a new sport. So if you didn't move there, you might be... You might have stayed in Brisbane and yeah. played AFL. Yeah, well, I would have for sure. Um, you know, whether or not I would have been successful at, at AFL, and that, you know, that's another thing. Lockyer came to Brisbane and the Broncos, like many young players from the bush, quiet and physically closer to a boy than a man. The touch judge in his first game thought he was the ball boy. It didn't take long to change his view. When I first saw him play on debut, I think he was an 18-year-old kid, and I just looked at him and I just thought, this bloke's playing a different game to us. You know? We probably have a lot to do with Darren's what he is because he was pretty much like that. As I said, we didn't have some boys would come here, got lots of work to do with him, you know. But not in Darren's case, his attitude's always been very good. He's, I can't remember once I've happened to chastise him about something and behaviour or anything like that. You know, I think his image of the game, personally, I think that's the type of guy that the game needs to promote a lot more. Wayne Bennett and Darren Lockyer are both reserved, professional and fullbacks. Not that the coach will admit similarity. <laughs> uh, no, not really. Um, no, no similarities at all. <laughs> not even the fullback thing? Well, you know, I couldn't play like he could play, I can tell you. <laughs> Wayne Bennett, when that name's mentioned, I mean, what are your thoughts? Um... Well, uh, he's my coach. That's, you know, that, before you, you've met him, he's just he's, he looks so intimidating and he looks so hard to approach. But as, once you get to know the guy, he's definitely a great bloke and he's you know, very successful at what he does. So he's he's doing something right, and um, he's, I suppose he's got a quality that a lot of people don't have. So he's a pleasure to coach. You don't need no revving up. He don't. He's not boisterous. Uh, he knows what he's got to do, he's quietly confident about it. Uh, he's just a pleasure to coach, and if you had 17 guys like him, you know, we wouldn't have coaches going on the stress loop. Like one of his louder teammates, Lockyer has been targeted by Rugby Union, who have spoken to his management, but as yet, nothing has come of it. But I think Darren's a rugby league man, um, but if ARU got him, I mean, they were talking about my signing being, you know, good, but that would be the ultimate to sign Darren Lockyer. I've, you know, I, I want to play rugby league. I mean, I don't know what they're thinking about paying him, but I tell you what, if you're going to pay someone a million dollars, I mean, he's probably the man you'd pay. for Penrith, though, because he can turn that into an attack. Here's a try, surely, coming from Brisbane to be under the full... But before all that, he's got a game to play at Stadium Australia. Last year at the same venue, Queensland suffered their greatest indignity. Well, it will probably always live with every player that played in the Rangers that night. That was the most, you know, humiliating thing that 
that they've been a part of. It was for me. Tonight, though, with the rampaging Gordon Tallis absent, Lockyer becomes captain. He's the playmaker. He's the target. Pretty calm. He plays calm. He acts calm off the field. Nothing seems to phase him too much. I'm sure he has his moments, but, but you know, we don't see those moments a lot. He's very much in control. Yeah, we're, I suppose we're ready for an ambush. If we go to, to um, New South Wales in camp down there, then, uh, you know, we can expect uh, the worst.